Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant Chair. Smoke me a lame excuse for a lucky strike. Sorting the world's problems out. Making checks mixed for mom and making food and doing the adult things and getting all my chores done after a shower or shave and wash the old dirty rooster tattoo. It is what it is, man. Uh, I'm kind of not feeling it today. Kind of having one of those blasé kind of affairs. Trying to keep this fucking thing lit. It's wet tobacco. Go figure. You re-roll it enough times, and eventually it just gets humid. But I digress. <clears throat> it's been a while since I told a messed up story time. Well, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, for whatever reason, I woke up thinking about that chick Violet. That was uh, Stacy's best friend. She's also dead now, too, by the way. Uh, she died a few years ago. They found her at the beginning of Koof actually dismembered in a suitcase, and it's an unsolved crime, which sucks because she was, like, a really cool person, man. Hold on. <sighs> Get this damn thing burning. Son of a bitch. It's one of them days. But... This is kind of a fun, yet fucked up story time. So, like, if you don't want to hear a fun, yet fucked up story time, um, I don't blame you. So what is a speedball? Well, there, there's many different forms of a speedball. But basically, a speedball is doing an upper and a downer together in injection use, right? Like, it's no secret that I was an injection drug user for a lot of years, and believe it or not, most people didn't know, unless they saw me doing drugs, right? They just didn't fucking know. I kept it together, you know, and I did the things, and, you know, I had a lot of shit going on in my young adult life. I have a lot of shit going on now, but I've learned to handle it differently. Well, the story happened, oh, I don't know, I was probably 22, 23 years old, right? The infamous, the reason why nobody likes you when you're 23, this is one of those stories. So, Stacy and I had been fighting. Uh, she was trying to get clean. She was having a hell of a time. And this is one of the many times I stuffed her ass in rehab for a while. And her friend Violet didn't know. So, you know, she comes by. They worked at the strip club together. Stacy actually wasn't a stripper. Uh, she was a cocktail waitress in a strip club, although she did strip sometimes. I don't know. Weird, isn't it? If this thing's rolled too tight or it's just fucking far gone. It's giving me trouble. But we'll power through this. So, Stacy's friend Violet was... Probably about Stacy's age. You know, I'm like in my early 20s at this point, and these chicks are like in their mid to late 30s. You wouldn't know it by looking at them naked, though. Jesus Christ, they look better than I did. Look younger, too. Like, legit, this chick looked young enough. Like, if you'd have put her in a schoolgirl outfit, you'd have had to cart her at the door. You know, like. To say these women could have been beauty queens is kind of an understatement, okay? I don't know how the fuck I got so lucky, but... Well, basically, when I met Stacy and her friend Violet, you know, we had a little menage a twat thing going on. Yes, I said twat, get over it. Twat, did I just say it? I can't hear you, I have an ear infection. Yeah, now that we got the bad words out the way. Fucking things just give me a hard time, man. You know, uh, basically, we met in my hot tub, and that was the first time I ever tried cocaine. It was, it was all right. It wasn't my thing, but, you know, I was a heroin addict. You know, I didn't really care for this shit that much. Although later, uh, you know, I got used to amphetamines. You know, that shit rocked my world. I liked that a lot. But, uh,. You know, some years had passed, you know, Stacy, Violet, and I kind of, you know, had this little fucking thing going on, like, to where we just would sleep with each other and do it in a big old pile, sometimes with other women included. It was pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. It was, it was a pretty good deal for me. <sighs> you 
and you know Stacy been in rehab for I don't know a week or two and I was kind of trying to clean up my act a little bit too and then this chick comes over you know after work and whatnot and she used to call me sugar dick yeah I know right <laughs> that's one of those nicknames that you just can't fucking lay down you know like like she called me sugar dick it was actually quite humorous she had my phone number saved as sugar dick too you know, I probably should have stuck with her longer than I did, but, you know, being an adult and whatnot. And like I said, I'm getting to the speedball story here. So, you know, at this point, I had probably, mm, I want to say, $100, $200 a day heroin habit. You know, nothing, like, out of control, because I had the money for it at that time, but it was getting to that realm of I probably needed to tone it down a bit. And so I was trying to tone it down. Well, Stacy's friend Violet knew that I'd probably be getting dope sick because it was that time of the month when everybody ran dry. And I had some around, but not like a bunch. <coughs> you know, just enough. And she comes in, right, as I'm, uh, you know, getting ready to fix myself up a shot, right? You know, that's where you get the spoon out and, you know, your water and your... Your cigarette filter for the cotton. Uh, I always had to borrow cigarette filters from my dad because I didn't smoke filtered cigarettes. You know, it is what it is. And get a clean needle, right? Because you don't reuse a needle unless it's your own, and even then you clean it out. And so, you know, I'm getting ready. And she walks in and says, hey, sugar dick, how's it going? I'm like, eh, you know, I'm just getting ready to fix up for the day. Because, like, I was just waking up as she was getting off work. She's like, hey... I want to throw in on this, and, you know, we, like I said, we always shared our drugs together, you know? I mean, that's the thing about being an addict, right? Like, you all get high together and stuff, and like you say, well, you're out, and what that really means is you're out of stuff for everybody, but you got enough to get you through the bad part until you get more. I was kind of at that point. She's like, hey, you want to get really high? I'm like, yeah, I want to go to the fucking moon, baby. And so she pulls out this little baggie. I'm like, oh, God, what is that? Is, is that China White? She's like, no, it's cocaine. It's like, oh, God damn it. I don't want fucking cocaine. I'm not really a fan of it. She's like, yeah, but here's the thing. If you mix that with your tar, you're going to go to the moon. I'm like, you can do that. And she's like, yeah, it'll be fun. Let's try it. We'll shoot up and then we'll fuck all over the good furniture. And I'm like, twisted my arm here okay and I didn't know how to cook cocaine into a shot I still don't as a grown-up like that's how few times I've done it but uh yeah she she cooked us one up and uh I don't know we probably had like a half a gram of heroin in there and uh, maybe half a gram of cocaine and we split it between the two of us because we were pretty seasoned drug addicts at this point you know it's just a taste really The pauses are me trying to get my goddamn cigarette going. It's it's being difficult today. What else isn't, right? So, of course, she always needed help tying off and finding a vein because, you know, for some reason, women can't seem to find their own veins. It's like, all right, whatever. So I get her, bam, right? She's sitting there doing the eye flutter, like fucking kind of doing the dry thrust with her pelvic region, right? Starts coughing and stuff. I'm like, oh, must be good, huh? All right. And then I fixed myself up, you know, my big one, and fucking drew back, and boom! And I had about 30 seconds there where I'm like, oh, fuck! Right? So her and I are both laying on the fucking bed. You know, and our, both of our ears must have been ringing like goddamn bell clapper because I couldn't hear a fucking thing. Just sitting there watching the room spin around and things get real bright and blurry at the same time, like I was all fucked off, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, so it took about forty-five minutes before either one of us could move after that. And then I was incredibly sick; like the heroin was still taking hold, but that fucking cocaine had worn off, and I'm just like, "What the fuck is this?" shit turn my stomach, you know? Because I'd, like, tried speed a couple of times, but never, like, injection use. 
Yeah, that came after. But the fun part is, is when you're coming off of shit like that, uh, there's really only two things you do, and that's drink and fuck. And that's precisely what her and I did that whole fucking afternoon. Uh, I was supposed to go to work, but I, like, made my own hours and stuff, and so I did the responsible thing and said, uh, I'm not feeling well today. I will be in to uh, do my job tomorrow, which was fine because I, you know, I had got far enough ahead at work. But, yeah, that's how I spent an entire, like, I don't know, Saturday morning screwing off, you know. It is weird, too, because when Stacy got out of rehab, she wasn't mad that me and her friend Violet were porking because that was part of the arrangement. What she was mad about is that Violet brought cocaine and she wasn't around to have any because she liked this shit real well. I, I fucking, I can take it or leave it. You know, it's kind of a half drug. But that was my first speedball I ever did. I'd lie to you and say it was a negative experience. Um, aside from the jitters and whatnot, and uh, ejaculating before I actually had sex because, like, I was so fucking high that I just spontaneously ejaculated. Like, I'd, I'd lie and say it was a bad experience. It wasn't. The, the bad experience came later when I was coming down, and that's why you don't do drugs, kids. Uh, you'll end up porking your friend, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, I guess we're friendly enough, you know. We don't really like each other, but, you know, we like each other's parts. But, yeah, that's my first speedball, man. I actually remember that one quite well because I had never injected cocaine before, and, uh, you know, like I said, it was definitely one of those experiences, man, that formulate your formative years and kind of ruins having sex sober for you ever again. Like, if you've ever had sex on, like, a lot of drugs before, you know that, like, it kind of ruins sober sex for you for the rest of your life. And that's actually one of the biggest problems with addicts. They can't really have relationships, you know, afterwards because, you know, they, like remember how fun it was but i'm cold i got shit to do and uh i will yak y'all later but i figured you'd like a fucked up story time if you like the video like the video if you don't you don't i don't care there'll be more stuff to talk about as the day rolls on and uh wednesday can eat my shorts